I want to go over some of the plugins that are available on WordPress and, and some of the ones that I use and why you should use them as well. Uh, so the first one here um, that's live is Akismet. Uh, what it's for is it's a spam blocker. It will automatically detect if a comment that's left on your blog is spam and it will automatically delete it for you so that you don't have to mess with it and it keeps you protected 24 hours a day. All-in-one SEO pack. Probably the best um, SEO plugin that's out there. That's great. You can set your title, your description, your keywords, and then at the bottom of each page or at the bottom of each blog post when you're writing them, you'll be able to go in and, and set what you want Google and the other um, search engines to actually see about your um, website in each particular page or blog that you're writing. Um, Dig Dig is a floating share bar. I'll show you what that looks like on the blog real quick. So Dig Dig is the same plugin that Mashable uses on their website to help get the shares. And this is it right here. It's this floating piece on the side. And you'll notice as you go down, it does stay there. And so, so that's a cool, that's Dig Dig. Uh, the Facebook plugin, it's the new plugin that just came out in um, June 2012 for uh, to publish your WordPress blogs automatically onto Facebook. Facebook comments is how I, I take comments on my website. So anybody that leaves comments, like let's see if we go over here to one of the other posts. You can see how it works. And basically when somebody leaves a comment, they have an option of leaving the comment only on the website or to also post that comment to Facebook so you can see what that looks like. And it's, you know, I use it because it's easy. Uh, people are used to seeing it and also it gets you that social um, you know, sharing through Facebook. Uh, the Google XML sitemaps, it just creates a sitemap on the back end of your website so it makes it easier for Google and other sites to be able to um, send their spiders through your website so they know what's on your site. It's just an easier way for them to read it as opposed to going through all the HTML and all the other things that go there. And relate, related content is a plugin that will display some related posts on the bottom of your of your blog articles. So it helps people to find an, another article they want to read at the end of it. And so I like to use that. Pretty Link Lite is a great way to create short links. So if you go to the dashboard, I'll show you what Pretty Link Lite looks like. This is it right here. So what I can do is I can create pretty links. So let's say, for example, I have an affiliate link to sell some type of a product. I can put that target URL here, my ClickBank um, URL or the link, my affiliate link and it will create basically a, a hidden link that I can then use in my marketing so that I'm not pushing their website, I'm really publishing my own website and just creating a link over there and then you can use that link anywhere online so it's a great a great tool to use is, is that um, is the pretty link light and it's, these are all free Social Metrics Pro is a paid plugin that allows you to see how often people are sharing your blog across social networks so it's going to monitor in real time for you YouTube, Facebook, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Dig Dig, uh, it can monitor a couple others as well. WP Socializer is another um, sharing button, another sharing so this right here, this area, share this article that's WP Socializer, it's just to help people share the article. WP Touch is a free plugin that will help convert your website from a PC or Mac so computer-based site down to a mobile site. Um, so it's the number one used uh, for mobile websites. And so those are some of the plugins that, that I would recommend you to use. And there's hundreds, if not thousands, of plugins out there. So you may definitely find some others that you like to use. But these are the ones that I'm personally using.